This video is strictly for educational purposes only. I do not condone glorify the use of drugs. How's it going, everyone? My name is Oki Fish, and in this video, we'll cover the organic compound known as CoQ10. This is an enzyme found in every single cell of the body and plays a crucial role in how we create energy. It yields many positives, such as boosting heart health, slowing down the process of aging, eliminating brain fog, and much more. If taken correctly, there are almost no negatives, so most people only get a positive experience from it. It shall be absolutely delightful. I'll go over all the important stuff, including the benefits, dosage, how it works, my personal experience with it, and I'll explain the variations between different forms. Let's get into it. Coenzyme Q10 is utilized by every cell in the body and holds two primary functions. One is that it's required for producing ATP, which is our body's energy supply. Two is that it serves as an antioxidant and protects our cells from free radicals and oxidative damage. CoQ10 is necessary for our mitochondria to generate power. What we need is more power. It takes sources from what we eat and converts it into usable energy. Come on, get some food. Come on, energy. Without healthy mitochondria, Ooh. cells can prematurely die and cause health problems. Your body uses CoQ10 faster than it can synthesize it. This means that you need to get it from other food or supplementation in order to provide your mitochondria with what it needs for ATP production. Foods that contain coenzyme Q10 include nuts, seeds, white or dark meat, and oils. The organs with the highest concentrations of CoQ10 are the ones that utilize the most energy. Examples being your heart, kidneys, liver, and brain. Your body only has a limited amount of CoQ10 and if you exercise a lot, you are more prone to developing a deficiency. Without CoQ10, nutrients cannot reach mitochondria and your brain will not be able to properly function. Oh, oh, my brain, my brain, my brain. If you suffer from brain fog, slow thinking, muscle aches, or headaches, these can be signs that indicate CoQ10 deficiency. Personally, I use CoQ10 the most when I'm looking for a slight mental boost or if my energy levels are low and I want to bring them back up. I need some energy. For me, it does a really good job at clearing brain fog or any sort of mental fatigue. My mind is so clear. I find that it gives me more energy, better mental clarity, and enhanced focus. It's a great compliment to stack with many other nootropics too, specifically ones that affect cognition. I find that it has synergistic effects when combined with stimulants like caffeine or Adderall. They pair nicely with one another to enhance my thought processing speed and make it easier to hone in my focus on a task and reach the flow state. It's also good to take as a pre-workout supplement. I find that it increases my endurance and stamina, which helps push me to do more reps. It's a decent alternative to caffeine too, which makes CoQ10 useful for late night workouts if you don't want to consume a stimulant too close before going to bed. Hey, I'm sleeping good tonight. Plus, it can treat post-workout fatigue, and it makes you feel not as burnt out after strenuous physical activity. This is most likely due to that when you supplement with enough CoQ10, you're giving your brain cells the fuel it needs to synthesize ATP and produce the appropriate amount of energy for your body. By doing this, it produces more energy for your cells, maintains a healthy blood pressure and immune system, and promotes cardiovascular health. Additionally, coenzyme Q10 acts as a powerful antioxidant. It protects your cells against free radicals and oxidative damage. This will help you live longer and reduce the signs of aging like cognitive decline. Health problems such as bipolar disorder, migraines, clinical depression, and schizophrenia have been linked to the dysfunction of mitochondria and oxidative stress. Theoretically, supplementing with CoQ10 could reverse the possibility of issues like this due to its mechanism of action playing a vital role in assisting the mitochondrial production of ATP and energy. Studies show that administering CoQ10 to children and adults had substantial reductions in the intensity and frequency of migraines. Research from numerous other studies demonstrated that CoQ10 will reduce fatigue boost cerebral blood flow, increase stamina, lower blood pressure, and safeguard brain cells. Basically, when taking CoQ10, you should be able to think more clearly, feel better, more energized, and have less brain fog. <laughs> There are two primary formulations of CoQ10 to be aware of. These two forms are known as ubiquinone and ubiquinol. Coenzyme Q10 is ubiquitous in all animals and most bacteria in the human body, hence the name sounding similar to the word ubiquitous. The chemical difference between the two forms is that ubiquinol contains two hydroxyl groups. This makes ubiquinol easier to dissolve in water and is more bioavailable. Ubiquinol is identical to 95% of the CoQ10 that your body produces naturally. It's, it's natural, it's perfectly natural. Meaning that your body can freely use this form without having to convert it. This form has the ability to scavenge free radicals in the sites that they inflict the most damage. Seek and destroy. Top priority. Ubiquinone is the oxidized form of CoQ10 and the body must go through an extra step to convert it before using it. Ubiquinone is the much cheaper form but is less efficient at doing its job because it must be converted first. However, most healthy people under the age of 35 will still likely get the benefits from this form. Supplement companies offer different forms of CoQ10 in an attempt to enhance bioavailability. Nonetheless, the absorption rate varies between each individual and the younger someone is, the easier it is for them to absorb. Unless you're in your 40s or older, you can probably get away with taking Ubiquinone, which is the cheaper version of CoQ10. Otherwise, you can instead 
probably pay around three times the price for ubiquinol to assure you're getting the more bioavailable version. Anyway, the side effects of coenzyme Q10 tend to be rare and mild. The main side effect you will suffer from is literally just feeling better. That's not bad. Not bad. However, some users have reported insomnia, headaches, or agitation. It may enhance the effectiveness of certain blood pressure medications and can lower blood sugar levels, so anyone with diabetes should be conscious of that. The typical dose is between 100 to 200 milligrams daily, but doses up to 1200 milligrams have been safely used to treat different illnesses such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. I like to use a supplement that contains 200 milligrams per pill, and I'll take one to three pills on the days that I take it. I don't take it every day, but I still use it multiple times a week. For example, if I start coming off a stimulant too early, I'll supplement with CoQ10 for an extra energy boost. Additionally, I'll take some before working out and maybe some afterwards too if I'm feeling burnt out. When used daily in 200 to 300 milligram doses, it can raise peak power production, improve exercise performance, and aid in muscle recovery. Some athletes even take up to 600 milligrams for these effects. It has limited solubility in water, so it's recommended to take it with a source of fat or oils. This is because CoQ10 is primarily fat soluble. In summary, coenzyme Q10 plays a vital role in the production of energy and influencing how well our brain functions. Another supplement that pairs well with CoQ10 is Alpha GPC. Combining these together can boost athletic performance and increase cognition speed. Watch this video next on everything you to know about Alpha GPC and how it boosts the production of choline. Choline is highly important for allowing the brain to optimally function and can enhance your motivation, memory, and attention. My name is Fish and I stay low key. Peace out.